your new book, you talk about online dating and the fear of being catfished. And as a comedian, are you really comfortable with online dating? Because I feel like in our profession, it's really weird to be participating in these kind of things. I don't care if you've been one year into quarantine. That's weird. Are you comfortable? I'm not. It, it, honestly, the weirdest part about it is showing, I was like, what pictures do I have of myself that I like? And most of them are me on stage because I'm flexing when I'm up there. And um, <laughs> honestly, most of my pictures that I like, I'm like on stage or I'm doing something comedy. -wise. And I was like, if I was a stranger looking at this, I would just assume this was a fake profile because <laughs> yeah, it's right. all like some comedian on stage. And so that's like my biggest worry every time I'm like, it, do people think I'm like a Russian bot or do they? Well, I think my biggest worry is a professional comedian like you, who's got a really great stardom over the years, feels like he needs to shift his love affairs to the online world. <laughs> I mean, come on. Really, Daniel? Is this where we're going in uh, 2021? <laughs> You know, I just want to have all my avenues. I want to have the digital world, the uh, the stand-up ah. world. I just want to have the doors open everywhere. You know what I mean? I feel you. And I know uh, Marissa, she's going to share an image up here and you know, for all the listeners tuning in on YouTube channel. Uh, we're all going to look at this picture together, okay? And can you explain to me, is this your idea of being catfished? <laughs> That was my buddy. I, my uh, One of my best friends, Diego Parada, he did all the images in the book. And uh, we had never we hadn't settled on a, a front cover uh, image at all. And he drew that for one of the stories, <laughs> one of the stories about being catfish. And I was like, oh, my God, that's the cover. That's the ugliest, uh, most adorable <laughs> thing I've ever seen. I mean, in this in this picture leads me to my question, because Marissa, during her hashtag TLDR, uh, she reported on what Verge uh, broke the story this week, and that is Tinder will soon be allowing users to run background checks on possible dates based on just a first name and a phone number. So um, I think I'd rather be catfished. Oh. Uh, what I about you? Say, oh, Marissa's going to have something. There is yeah, a Marissa Pitts in Long Beach who is blonde and hot as hell. So if like that's, and she's probably got no record. So if I'm on a date and you pick her, cheers. <laughs> there you go. So, well, I mean, do you feel more comfortable about this? Would you rather prefer to get a background check or would you rather be catfished? I think I would. It's upsetting because that, that this is actually my Tinder profile picture now. And I um, <laughs> yeah. assume people think that's me. Honestly, look, it. this is me, just me personally. But I, um, I like, uh, you know, I, I find an intelligence uh, to be a, attractive. And I feel like, you know, you got to be smart enough to use the internet and um, stalk me like a normal intelligent person nowadays. I, you don't, I don't need background checks done. You got to be smart enough to find my Facebook, my Instagram, my address, and stalk me the normal way. Well, didn't they kind of have something similar to like that? Because I know Marissa last year, you and I, we were reporting that Snapchat, you know, that really was the only fans before only fans came around. But they literally, you were able to friend with somebody on Tinder and then you can figure out their geotag, which basically means where you are in real time. That's creepy. This background okay. check is creepy there's, there's nothing another, creepy about catfish you're just that stupid no, no, if you get if you see that picture and you fall for that okay <laughs> well, marissa what you can say no you can go on your phone and turn that off by the way <laughs> you can but they turned it on without anybody's consent and most people probably still have it left on so if you're on snapchat now do your homework fam but i just always find it ridiculous <laughs> that I'm able to uh, look up where my Snapchat friends are located yet. Half the time I can't figure out where my car keys are. I'm like, how do we not have that technology <laughs> down? 